Let's try this one again. Hello and welcome everybody into some Saturday night racing. And you know what it means here on a Saturday night. It's ladies night here for our first ever Powder Puff 100. That's right. Ladies only here tonight. These drivers are getting all locked in and loaded up into their vehicles. And we're excited to see them go around here for the first time ever. This is going to be some fantastic racing and should be a fantastic event, all for awareness of breast cancer here tonight. So the pink flags will be flying indeed. Let's uh, get things started off though first with the red, white, and blue flag and get it all kicked on off with the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs burst. And welcome back. As always, we do have some fantastic sponsors that we need to shout out for this fantastic race that we got going on here tonight. First of which, America's driver, Mr. Albert Anderson, was not available to race, but he's like, man, get me up on there on that sponsorship. So for any replays, you will see his uh, stuff come on up across the screen. But big thank you to America's driver, Mr. Albert Anderson, for sponsoring here tonight. And even more, our good buddy, of Bruce Muehlberger and Muehlberger Custom Homes up there in the Michigan area. I, I'm no joke, 20 minutes after I made our initial post saying, hey, we're doing this, we're looking for sponsors, I got a message from Bruce immediately reaching on out wanting to be a part of this. So big, big thank you to Bruce and his team over there at Muehlberger Custom Homes. If you're looking to build yourself your dream house up there, in that Michigan area, be sure to go and give them a call and get on their schedule and just go to their webpage, look at all the pictures and look at all the testimonials that they have up there of satisfied, more than satisfied customers doing A plus quality professional work. Man, big thank you to Muehlberger Custom Homes. As always, I am Alan Brown, and I got my pink on here today, and I am joined by the brewmaster in general, my good buddy, Mr. Alan English, who's also got his pink on here this evening. Yes, sir, indeed, as we get ready to go live here with some great fast action racing here at Michigan in these trucks tonight, Alan. First race for a lot of these women here tonight, uh, no... A lot of people in the Discord have been being like, man, I'm so nervous. This is going to be, you know, first race. I just don't want to. Well, I I think we're in for a pretty good showing.
erase it. So uh, it's going to be a fun time regardless. Uh, yes, sir. In, indeed, of course, uh, being alerted by our, our good buddy uh -oh. Tristan GC Mustang there. That, uh, yep, sound, sound settings got all messed up on that side of things here as well. So uh, in 30 seconds or less, recap. Okay, so thanks everybody uh, who supports uh, this race out here. Our sponsors, Albert Anderson, Bruce Muehlberger, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to all the the ladies participating here tonight. Um, you know, we're going to have a we're, this race at a good wide track. Uh, it's a great place to have it for, for folks that haven't raced around each other at all. Uh, and some of these ladies have never been in a race rig before. So uh, this is a good spot to have it. They're still going to get some great speeds out there. Uh, only a 5% uh, power restriction on these trucks. And uh, I think we're going to see a great race, even with a smaller field. Yeah, that in, indeed we will. As down there on pit road is our anger management specialist. Not going to have to deal with too much out there, I hope, here tonight. Mr. Adam Turner, all locked in and loaded. Glad to have you out here with us tonight, Adam, for this fantastic specialty race here on this Saturday night. No, this is awesome. Michigan is the perfect place to do this. What a fun track. Ted Nugent. I think the spirit of the wild is right here with us. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they get around here. They've got new, I think most of these drivers are pretty new, right? Yeah. We don't have anybody that's really, you know, this is their hobby. So this will be fun. I'm totally looking forward to it. And I'm going to give you some rules here real quick. All right, no fast, uh, zero fast repairs. No, I'm just kidding. Unlimited fast repairs. <laughs> Thank goodness. Seventy percent fuel, minus five on power. That's that's going to slow them down a little bit. Uh, five sets of tires total. Eighteen incident points. You'll start getting penalties. Ten incident points after that. You'll get some more. Here's what I see as the problem. It's 103 degrees out there. It's pretty hot for Michigan this time of year. Yeah, that it is. And, you know, when I was setting up this session, I'm like, ah, I'm doing everything great. And then it's all falling apart on me between the broadcast not having sound and then <laughs> and then all that. Uh, so I One guess, qualifying lab. One qualifying lab. Yeah, it's, you can... Uh, we complain voice... about that to all the regular owners. I guess we're going to have to just complain to you about yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to be a never-ending onslaught until the next time we host one of these, but... Either way, we'll take a look here at tonight's race info. Beautiful sunshiny skies, but that's going to heat that track up just a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't affect these drivers here uh, all that much. But uh, yeah, it should be a good quality day. Bringing us down to tonight's key to the race. Uh, man, you got to let loose and have some fun. English, I'm sure you probably felt the same way the first time you hooked up your steering wheel and hopped into a race here on iRacing. You almost had to pry my hands off with a crowbar because I was white knuckling that wheel so much, and that really affects how you drive. Butterflies, right? I oh, know yeah. a lot of the drivers have talked about, ah, I'm, I'm nervous, you know, and uh, if you did some practice and, you know, you get comfortable with the truck and, and all that, get comfortable in traffic, uh, you're going to do fine. One thing that, that they're not going to be used to probably is listening to your spotter. So... The in-game spotter is actually pretty decent. It's it's a little bit delayed sometimes, but uh, I think if the ladies listen to their spotter out there uh, tonight, you know when they've got traffic around them, it's really going to help them out. Um, you know, especially since they're they're not used to uh, you know running up this high horsepower uh, uh, stock car setup around at a big track like this. So I think that'll be one of the keys too. Is you know pay attention to what the spotter's telling you. Uh, hopefully, some of them got. Uh, you know, some help over their shoulder, letting them know, hey, you know, you get ready to come in for fuel, or watch out for this, you know, the downshift here, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but it looks like a lot of them had some, some decent practice out there. Well, I'll give them a tip if they want to know how to win. I've won here before. Be careful in two, and you win it in three and four. Save your tires till the end, and three and four is where you're going to make your money. There's a pro tip. I want that pro tip from the champion <laughs> there himself as these drivers getting all locked and loaded. So how about we tell these folks at home who their drivers are going to be starting here tonight. These are going to be some unfamiliar names to us and probably some unfamiliar names to you as well as they line on up on tonight's starting grid. 
small field here tonight, but that's okay. We, uh, like, a nice close, uh, intimate? Sure, we'll call it intimate field here. Get to know everybody. One of Sarah Decker getting up there on pole position. She's going to have the 14 of Anna Lee Eaton starting to hurt outside here. See, I'm so used to saying his, her is difficult. Tobar, yeah. It, it's, it's tough. But the 14 machine there in at second. 23 of Brittany Cotton. Going to have a good starting spot up there in third. 13 of Merrill Evans. 13-year-old Merrill Evans in the Bad Luck 13 machine starting here tonight in fourth. 27 of Paula Pierre, Pereira? Pere Pereira. 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 In the 27 machine, starting there in fifth. 42 of Shauna Flick, having a pretty good starting spot there for the 42 machine in sixth. And the 92 of Rebecca Klein. The hammer. The hammer. Getting things locked and loaded here in seventh. And of course, huge thank you, even though you did kind of chicken out a little bit there, yeah, to did. Miss Lori Vaught. But she, did, <laughs> she still wanted to be a part, and we were looking for a race controller, and she very graciously uh, chose to... To chose to uh, jump on board with that, so well, thank she, you very she, much, Lori. Oh, she's yeah, fantastic at it. Damn. Yeah, that's like her thing. So she'll feel right at home. I know it's difficult for for them to anybody that had never done this before. I remember, like you were talking about, stepping into my first official, and I thought I was going to go insane. You know, blood pressure was up. It was crazy. So As I'm sure we're having get... a little feelings tonight. As the field gets rolling here, let's uh, give some shout-outs to our YouTube chatters out there. Tristan yeah. Cotton said, watch out for that 23 of Brittany tonight. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Greg Klein out there, uh, pulling for all the ladies out there tonight. Uh, his wife, Rebecca, is running out there. Bill Winker pulling for Shauna in the 42 Winker Nation machine. And uh, Mike Adamson, yeah, Lori's in the booth tonight doing uh, some refereeing. Uh, thank you, Tristan Cotton, for letting us know about the the, the sound situation there. Mary Decker, thank you so much for out here supporting Sarah uh, Decker, who's your mom, our pole starter out here in the one machine. Uh, let's see who else we got. K-Dub 42. Sha hashtag Shauna Nation. I like it. Oh. Said the usual Winker Nation. A little action under caution here. Just keep in mind that uh, they're okay. not really used to doing this. So. Nope. I got a feeling for some of these drivers, this, this is their very first formation lap. Yeah, I'll get the hang of it here. And uh, thank you, Bill Winker, for being with us out there. Who is thanking at Muleburger Custom Homes for the support? Uh, yeah, Bruce is always one of those first guys to stand up and say, hey, uh, let me help out with this. And uh, Greg Dobson out there, thank you so much for being here also. And uh, Nicole Scafidi pulling for Shauna. Hashtag Rita Nation. She got a nickname too. Looks like Pace Truck's down. Yeah, that indeed it is. There's a little bit of a scattered shot here to get things started off, but that is a okay. We are green flag racing for the first time here tonight with that one machine out in front. Side by side, they go. Annalee Eaton and Sarah Decker. The 14 machine looking to the outside, but here comes the 13 of Merrill Evans looking down through the middle, going almost three wide. Here comes the four wide as the 23 of Brittany Cotton, like shot out of a cannon, comes splitting up the middle as the 14 machine gets the run coming out of the corner and holds on to the race lead. You can tell the ladies that know how to get around on the interstate here, and I like the line Ooh. that the 14's running up high. Mm. Oh, we got wrecked. Oh, big wreck. That's 23 in the 13 nice. here. Caution is out. So we got our first caution here early on in this run. And that was just a truck getting loose out there. The 23 GDS podcast machine. That Chevrolet driven by Brittany Cotton. Uh, getting a little loose on her own out there. Tires weren't quite warmed up just yet. Very, very common yeah. to see. That track Definitely look like cold tires because she <laughs> Had a pretty good line running there. Oh, that she does. And oh, heavy impact there with the outside wall and also uh, collecting uh, collecting some other victims there. But that's okay. That's why we got those fast repairs all uh, turned on on there and uh, all the cautions and stuff. So we get our first caution here of the uh, evening. And 
they, that was a pretty it, entertaining first lap, actually. I it was. I think got pretty good. Yeah. Well, and you got to think about it this way, too. It was kind of a, you know, like you said, kind of a scattershot uh, start to this race. This restart uh, is kind of like a do-over because there's unlimited fast repairs. So they're going to come in, get fixed, catch up back to, to the field. Uh, right. And uh, we're going to get a, a good, legit restart here with all the drivers packed up together again. So, And thank you, Daniel Pochlog, for joining us out there. Uh, one of the best painters out there uh, for uh, trading paints and uh, all kinds of other uh, logo design and whatever whatever you need. DEP Graphics has it. So uh, he, he said Brittany drives just like her husband out there. Oh. <laughs> Our buddy from up north, the great white north, uh, Adam Strumps and Eden and fellas, he said, hey, Turner, I'm walking down the pit lane right now with a case of Labatt's and a case of Bush Light. See you soon. Oh, okay. Well, it is Saturday night, so we have to have a party in the infield. I'm down, dude. Sounds like I'm a single, plan. Everybody's I'm invited. My, my wife's at a concert tonight, and I'm here by myself. So. Oh, what? Yeah, she, oh. she went with some of her friends and. I told her, I said, I got this charity thing tonight. I can't do it. She's like, oh, that's fine. Do you mind if I go? I'm like, hell no, go. She had a ride and everything. Oh, I'm interested to see who she's seeing. I, I'm trying to think of who I imagine uh, your wife going to see at the concert. They went to the thing. horse track. Yeah, it's some local band. I don't even know who they are. Oh, I was going to say like Michael Bolton or something like that. No? <laughs> no. no? no. Okay. I, I can't remember. that. something water like Backwater or something that's backwash. Backwash. <laughs> I, don't know. Backwater. I don't know. It's over at the horse right. track. As long as she's having fun, that's good. Thank you, uh, Earl Evans, for being here as well. Saying, "Hey, you sponsor us." Right, that what indeed. Up? As uh, we ride around here with uh, Shauna Flick, you can see getting some instruction from uh, Kevin Winker right there. Little uh, crew chief action, making sure she is aware of uh, what iRacing is telling her to do and where to line up and all that because that's kind of a that's kind of a handful that's it uh, is if you're not used to it you know iRacing tell you to do this and that and you got to be aware of the traffic and, i mean there's not lines painted on the track i mean it's hard to determine what lane you need to be in and all that you just got to know it's also distracting in this room with all those uh like it's like race museum in there i'd just be looking around at all the stuff that's like a race museum. Yeah, he's got all the cool stuff on the walls, you know. Oh, yeah. So, he's got pieces of race cars in there, all that cool stuff. Well, as the lights on the pace truck turn on off, we get staggered up here, back side by side somewhat, as the 14 and the 1 machine are going to lead this one off. It looked like uh, Merrill Evans maybe had to uh, take a toe down there on pit lane and... Um, Ended up uh, having to wait a while, putting her a lap down, but that's okay. We got plenty of laps left to go. 50 laps in total for this 100 mile race. Yeah, everybody gets stacked back up here. Pace truck's about to make that left turn. There he goes. About to be racing once again here. And that indeed, as here we go into that Geico restart zone, we go. Green flag is out, and away we go. Side by side, these ladies get them churning and burning here once again. The 14 drifting up the track. Oh, and runs out of room and goes <laughs> sideways across the front bumper of the one machine of Sarah Decker. And Lee, she she doesn't have that much damage. I think though that it's worth a trip down pit lane just to burn a fast repair because they're free. Yeah, you get as many free. fast repairs as you need here. Wait till the pits open up, come back down to get that thing fixed up. Yeah, that was How some heavy inter was that interstate contact? driving right there. It wasn't that heavy. It, it, it okay. wasn't heavy. They weren't right. up to speed quite yet. Just yeah, just drifted up the track. I I gotta feel it, Dustin. Dustin with a Y was uh, giving her insights like, hey, you really want to be, you know, up towards the outside here. That's where the really good run is. Well, right. there's also another car up there. Yeah, there was a truck up there that didn't have anywhere to go. And, and uh, yeah, a little unfortunate little spin, but like I said, not a whole lot of big heavy damage out there. 
No, and, uh, uh, I wonder if she got a little lost there. She's going to end up parking it on the infield for a moment and towing it there to the pits. Oh. Yeah, it, sometimes you lose your way, and it's it's hard to figure out where you need to be. Yeah, try not to tow, though. That's the key here. Stay on board with it. I guess somebody's is... Or somebody could get their lap back from the I'm, last one. Yeah, I believe. Way. I think uh, once when they catch up to the pace truck, I think uh, Meryl. Oh, oh she's cool. the lucky dog. Okay. I believe cool. she's the lucky dog. I mean, she was the only one, uh, the one lap down. She wasn't involved in the accident, so she'll get that lap back. Excellent. They did. 13 of the 13 year old dad sitting right there by her side. Making sure she's a. Uh, Stays all calm and cool. Like like seeing that, you know, the ten and two, nine and three. She's she's locked in. Sure. She does what she's doing. It is, oh, well, I, especially if she's got to get uh, you know through that Florida traffic that's crazy on down there. Oh yeah. Well, the, she's the, learning the, now. The scenic ninety eight is terrible. Brittany is uh, struggling getting out of pit road, but that's fine. She's gonna figure it out. Brittany Cotton. I bet Meryl Those tires are slick. I bet Meryl could teach Earl a thing or two. I wonder if there's a... Yeah. If maybe we could have a uh, another sponsored driver in the 13. I mean, that'd be fun. If this I thing mean, with Earl doesn't work out, I mean, we got Meryl. Well, she's going to be guaranteed a top 10, which some oh, Earl yeah. probably hasn't seen in a while that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. They, they're, she's 10 and 2. I mean, when I was learning how to drive... I had like a beer between my legs and was a cigarette. cigarette in one hand, yeah. And I was just—that's how I was taught, you know, with one hand. Sure. Then that's with the stick shift too, you know. Well, yeah, you get, that's how you got to do it. And it, it's got to be at twelve o'clock. That way, you can wave at people, you know, on the farm to market road. Yeah, of course. Put the two fingers in there yeah, and wave at wave. your neighbors. You definitely yeah. have to, but you got to be friendly. Sure. While driving. Dave, Dave Mayberry says, "Uh, uh Earl, no touching the steering wheel." He says, "I'm not touching it." <laughs> uh, Daniel Pochlog saying, "Triple A, this is an awesome deal." Yeah, I, I, we've been trying to plan something like this for God, how long, Alan? Better part of a year. Oh, I've. I mean, we wanted to do this before we even wanted started broadcasting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's... Getting the getting the ladies involved, but. And this will be like the first time for, of, you know, like a charity deal for us too. So sure, yeah. I think, hope it'll grow, you know, because we, that's what it's all about. You know, we're trying to raise some money for some stuff. Yeah. And the, you go to your local track, you know, uh, in your hometown and they do powder puff race. So they used to anyway, I don't know yeah. if it's as popular uh, as it used to be. They they get the dirt drivers, they get the girls, friends, and the wives and stuff to get in the trucks and go out there and, and run a little race. And, uh, Damn, it was just kind of a fun so, deal. So expensive. Now. They're expensive, but <laughs> on here it don't matter. It's free. This is virtual world, so. Right, virtual world indeed. As the virtual pace truck has its lights all turned on off, which means we're ready to head on back to some. Green flag racing. Rebecca Klein finding her way up through this field. Going to get things started off. She's going to have the 42 of Shauna Flick to her outside. Uh, Earl saying he thinks that Merrill is the youngest one here tonight. And uh, I believe yeah. you are correct there. As the 92, a little bit early on the gun there. But uh, we get going either way. She just saw that pace truck get out of the way. She was ready to move. The one of Sarah Decker going to try to now chase her down, which she does heading on into turns one and two. Ooh, with a good pass on the outside there. And there comes, uh, looked like uh, Brittany Cotton as well, trying to get her lap back the hard way. The 13, she looks like she's driving her like she stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Been, wa been watching, field. been watching that thirteen here in practice, running some pretty quick laps out there. Same thing with that one of Sarah Decker. Mind you, Sarah Decker is one of the most vocal of the. I'm so nervous. Well, you you <laughs> leading the race, oh. and she's on an H pattern shifter. Uh, David Fight just let us know. 
you know, she's shifting it with a real H pattern shifter rig. So well, that's even better. She knows how to drive a stick, apparently. Josh Bittner said they had a, a powder puff last night uh, at his local oh, track. Cool. Awesome, yeah. Andrew Cawthon out there joining us saying, let's go. Thank you for being here, Andrew. We'll get some green flag laps in now, boys. That we Pretty are. Good. 13. Little, getting a getting a little yeah. uh little space between the drivers here, but it's still gonna be pretty close. That's the other thing we were watching. You know, these ladies, they were running pretty quick. You know, some really good laps, but running them consistently, like we normally see on a normal league race, uh not so much. So the racing should be pretty close here tonight as the 23 machine looks down low able to keep the back end steady there trying to get that lap back still <laughs> what's that comment say there english uh That's pretty funny looks like ricky whitberg saying uh earl i think your daughter should uh, start racing vrl for you <laughs> <laughs> shots fired meryl's pretty good she's showing some great speed out there look at her mirror driving she's blocking lines and everything tell that uh she's got that youth and that those reflexes out there and she takes first place away from uh is it, was sarah in first on the last lap i didn't see oh, uh, it was okay I, either, Sorry, either I way it's away for a second. either way it's a pretty good uh, fight out there 27 machine hey uh, she might be having a little bit of some difficulty she's going to come on down into a pit road and Try to maybe get some damage fixed and uh, get back on out there with the uh, rest of the ladies. Yeah, it looks like Anna Lee has uh, disconnected, so still got a few drivers out there on the on the field here tonight. But Anna Lee hanging it up, putting the truck back on the trailer. Got some difficulties out there, I guess tonight. And I mean, don't count out the 92 of Rebecca Klein. She did drop back about uh, four seconds. Here off the front three runners. She's now starting to reel them back in, back inside of one second here. Yeah, the hammers put her practice laps in, that's for sure. I know Greg was talking about that. And this is a hell of a battle up front. All four of the, the top four here, it looks like. Hey, well, it's the uh, top three with... Uh, okay, I see Top three top with three. the with the twenty three running really good laps a forty point five nine there with Rebecca running a forty point six seven so whoo we got ourselves a can't, can't say a dog fight oh look at this up front man I love this moving up blocking <laughs> lines and stuff here comes the one of Decker she was looking to the outside there the thirteen just making that truck three lanes wide. Are we sure this is Sarah Decker and not Natalie Decker out there, Ron? I'm not sure. It might be. Could be. That'd be interesting. Man. The, now, is there a fuel strategy here? What is happening? Here comes some more racing. And some more racing as things get tightened up here once again. Oh, 13 going down low. One machine peeking up high. 13's going to go back up there for the block. Whew. But they're doing some blocking, and nobody's wrecking because of the blocking. This is not a Joey Logano situation. These, these, these ladies out here look like they actually know what they're doing. Yeah, better than Joey Logano. That guy's got a wig, man. You seen that wig? He threw <laughs> he it under his head this year. Did he? Yeah, he got some kind of uh, plugs. We're about to go three wide here, maybe. Let's see what the twenty-three is going to do. She's trying to pass, even though oh, she's yeah. a lap down. I think. I had just... got to get it back the hard way sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you do. Especially with the green flag run. And as we go back up, here we go. Side by side, battling for the race lead. One in the 13. Sarah Decker, Merrill Evans. One machine sticking down low. 13 going way up high. Almost kind of like diamonding the corner here. Oh, oh no! Behind him. The hammer! I think that was Craig Klein's fault. Was Greg's fault there? Yeah. Even though yeah. Be Becca's behind the wheel there. <laughs> she, we have to rewatch that one, see what happened. I did not see what the issue. 
<laughs> You're keying up on the right. Is seriously? Okay, the twenty three. The twenty three came down onto the twenty. Twenty three did come down a bit. Oh, coming awesome. coming off of the uh, top rope all the way down to the bottom, and oh, the ninety two was there. Oh, well, now it's an official AAA broadcasting race because you had anger on the radio. So yeah, I think she's going to be official. the kid. The ninety two uh, <laughs> is going to be the uh, the fighter oh. of the group. I think. See, Greg usually does it with just passive aggressiveness. He's not yeah, going he to say anything. Yeah, he doesn't tell you. He'll, he'll just he'll come just and turn put you. you in the wall. Yeah, <laughs> he'll That's turn fun. you and not say a word. No, and then act like <laughs> nothing happened. Yeah. Oh. So Dave yeah. Mayberry says, uh, "Oh, it looks like we got some pit stops about to occur here. It looks like Sarah's coming down and bringing Meryl with her." Pit, pit Road looked like it was closed. I see red lights blinking, so I don't know. Eh, I think that just might be for us. Okay. We may get some penalties cleared. Yeah, yeah I think we're good. Us uh, bird watchers here. So. And this is the first time, I think, in racing scenario, these ladies have uh, come on down into Pit Road. Yeah. As, oh, man. You see that 13? She came in like a pro couple, couple pit stops running through there, but I ain't got to back it up a little bit, too. A little bit more. Oh, 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 oh. oh That's fine. Oh, got it. You'll catch it eventually. Yeah, I'm, it's under caution anyway. It, you know. It's not going to matter, right? It's all good. But Dave Mayberry out there in the chat saying, Hey, Earl, you're out of VRL. We're going to replace you with your daughter. So, Meryl, sounds like you're hired. Earl might be fired. I, I'm. I, he I'm might even sure be he might works. even be fired from from being pit crew over <laughs> there because they missed their stall. He, you gotta get that countdown time yeah. right there, Earl. Yeah, three, two, one, pit, 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 box, that's, box, box. Yeah, he's that's, slacking. That's not on the driver. That's that's on the pit crew. <laughs> oh man, man. Dan Pochlock says, uh, "Hey Tristan, you need to be uh, Brittany Spotter out there. It's your husband duty." Yeah, there being that's spotted. true. I think that's true. <laughs> I mean, the aliens aren't going to be the spotter, you know? I hadn't got to talk about aliens in a while. I just thought I'd mention that. Sure. There's always room for aliens. And jello. Well, it's a jello. Well, I remember the old commercials. There was those old no, I remember the guy that's given the commercials has now been, been incarcerated for uh, some what? bad things when he's slipping people mickeys. Oh, yeah, Dr. Hup Huxtable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I remember about Jello is uh, old Mister Huxtable and the Quaaludes. You know, got him in trouble. Doctor in the Ludes. Yeah. Uh, Bill Cosby for people that don't get that reference. Anyway, Justin said that they were having problems with the spotter audio it wasn't working. They tried to fix it, but no luck there. Mary Decker out there pulling for mom. Sarah out there in that one machine. Sweet. Restarting on the front row with the 13. Merrill Evans on the outside. Ford and Toyota. So, or I'm just going to say, Go ahead. can we be, I mean, since Lori volunteered to be race control, we can't be mad at her, right, for not getting out here? No, no. No. I mean, she's, she's it's hard to be mad at her. She's anyway. in her element right now doing race control. Yeah, that's true. It'd be fun to see her out here, but I get, I get it. And there, there was talks of trying to get their uh, the Vought's daughter Sarah out here, but uh, she had plans that basically would get her home pretty much right when the race was starting. So not, wow. unfortunately, not enough time there. Well, this is just a like a first trial run here, yeah, uh, for the Powder Puff race, and I'm sure it'll grow in the future. But this is this is new to us, new to them. It's like a pace truck on its way back down onto the pit lane. And that indeed it is as here we go getting ready to go back to the green flag again a little bit of a scatter start here as some drivers catching up to the pace field uh almost almost timed it right one of those you're gonna be coming at full speed cool kind of things and just <laughs> yeah. didn't quite get it here as the one of Sarah Decker gets out in front of 13 Merrill Evans now gonna have some work to try to chase him down same thing with that 42 of Shauna Flick Trying to uh, chase down those two front runners who have been absolutely pacing everybody here tonight. They've definitely put their practice in. That is for sure. 
13 showing that uh, showing that aggression, showing that defensive action out there. Uh, running up into that top lane is the 23 of Cotton. Had a pretty good little run there. Killed that momentum of that GDS podcast Chevrolet. Well, Earl, you better tell her that, you know, we got cold tires. You got to be a little careful. We should be coming off those cold tires here shortly. But they're really hailing Michigan. Well, Michigan is a tough track. They're to yes. two different ends, right? Like, what would have been, like, an easier track, you think? This is actually kind of a more difficult one, it's, I think. It's a little technical, but... Uh, I they're getting the hang of it. They're making it work. I think it's a great choice, was my point, though. They're getting a little bit of, you know, one and two uh, is way different than three and four, so that's kind of cool. Right, that like it a, is... I was just going to say, uh, it's like our lap car, our lap... Uh, down cars right now fighting for that lucky dog position. Brittany Cotton in the 23 and the 27 of uh, Paola Pereira. Both one lap down right now. Yeah, Paola was uh, uh, multiple laps down. Did get the uh, lucky dog uh, wave around here from that uh, last caution. But uh, yeah, the 23 machine. Uh, definitely showing some good speed out there as Merrill Evans running a 40.49. Absolutely ripping out there, trying to catch up to that one machine. I think she's starting to sniff a little bit of that draft, and I wonder if the 95% 90, power is actually hurting her here a little bit. Otherwise, I think she might be able to catch up a little bit more. Maybe making it a little draftier, uh, a little bit more draft dependent uh, than a normal truck race here at Michigan, but... Hey, that just makes things more interesting, I think. And, uh, I don't know, but I'm super impressed by all of them out, out here tonight. Of course, such a good cause, too, right? Absolutely, man. It, it's it's something that, you know, it's the scourge of, of uh, yeah, it's the medical issue. community, this cancer. and uh, I, yeah. I just hope that one day that they can come up with you know, uh, better ways to treat and more effective ways to treat, and it's just it's it's well, you know firsthand. Yeah, it's a money a grab too. Now. Dealing it's, with dealing with all these. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's big business, is what it is. It's a huge business, and it's, I've unfortunately been a part of it for the last month. I don't know if y'all have shared the story, and I don't really want to totally share it, but no, we we kind of talk around a little bit yeah it's been just a nightmare and difficult to, to deal with but there, a lot of people are having to deal with it it's not just you know here the covid queen it's elsewhere everybody's dealing with this somehow so yeah it's good to put some put some laps in for a good cause yeah, everybody knows at least one person a lot of people unfortunately know many people that have been affected by breast cancer and that's not just only women too gentlemen we can get it we can get breast cancer just as easily as women so it's a this is a fight to eradicate something that man, it really shouldn't be around period yeah i i remember uh i don't know if you guys are well i know uh adam's been around long enough to remember but the old price is right uh announcer guy rob roddy uh, had breast cancer. And, yeah, I mean, it's uh, more rare for, for men, but it, it, is it rare, does yeah. happen. Yep. It definitely does happen. We have our own issues, <laughs> but not... Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's not what tonight's about, though. This is about... Absolutely. But the majority of people that get this are women, and it is it can be deadly, you know? So the key is screenings and all that stuff, so... Get it early, yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to catch it early. If not, you know, it's going to be painful. <laughs> Skylar Herod asking, they've been racing better than us out there? Well, I, couple, I think a couple of much. these ladies are pretty pretty damn talented behind the wheel, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that They are, as we had a good little uh, battle there, not for position, but the 42 and the 27, as uh, we'll take a look here uh, up the nose, or out the nose here, of the uh, 42 of Shauna Flick. Just doing her thing, plugging right along. 
Sarah <laughs> using the apron on the trial, but like a pro out there. Yeah, those two up front are really impressive. They're pretty close to one another. The rest of the field uh, also does a pretty great racing out there. Three trucks on the lead lap right now. Three battling for a Lucky Dog Wave Round uh, a pass here. All right, current, currently being held, I believe, by the 23 of Brittany Cotton. Just hoping for yep. one more caution here to get that lap back. Of course, with how tight the 1 and the 13 have been racing here is... Oh, look at the 1 now trying to take a peek at using that apron line. <laughs> you can't tell these girls ain't out here to race. No. She she started dabbling in the using the apron last lap. That's when I first noticed it anyway. Lofi, uh, Earl Evans out there uh, saying uh, first and second place put 15 seconds on third already. But you know what the great thing is, is that all these ladies came out to compete and have fun and, yeah. you know, raising money for, for a great cause. And uh, thanks so much to them and the sponsors as well for jumping on board uh, so quickly and just ready to help at every turn. And uh, we're going to make this a regular thing. I, I, I think uh, we talked a little bit about doing it, you know, at least a couple times a year. Uh but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Woo! We <laughs> almost had some contact there and up front. Oh, uh, that wasn't coming down off the top rope. That was coming <laughs> off of the Empire State Building. There is a 13 machine gets right in behind the one. Look at that pro using that draft. Jeez. The pressure He's being put on Adam. Using the bumper there. I'm Get out you. the way. I Mike like Addison. that. Mike Adamson joining the chorus of people saying, I think we found a new driver for the 13 machine. We have to find a new job for Earl, though. We can't just leave him out. In oh, the... no. We got to have him as a what could he do? technical advisor. We can he could, have him as like, a beer runner. He could know? do the cables. You know how I got all these yeah, cables, the cables everywhere? Yeah. He could be like the cable the, guy. Like the roadie. You know, the, yeah, you know, he could do that for us. <laughs> While his daughter wins races out there. Looking good out there tonight, though. Good looking paint, too. Oh, yeah. It's a 27 machine. Kind of like the 42, just making her own way. She kind of, with the uh, coming on down during a uh, green flag, kind of uh, kind of costed her a few laps here, but still running very clean, zero off tracks. And she's, I, I, other than I think possibly uh, in the uh, opening there, I think uh, she's kept a pretty clean uh, race car going on there. And Mike Adamson, I would not be opposed to be putting Earl up in the booth a couple times a week at least. He is a character. We'd have to time it, though, you know, between bites of pizza. You know, I know a lot of time he likes it. You can't blame him for that. I mean, honestly. Oh, no, man. I, I, I'm, I'm a pizza fan myself. Let's just dogging on him. <laughs> While his daughter's out here. Uh, uh, now, here's the thing. Six off the lead. All right, so they're they're very. It looks like they're kind of confident up front right now. But how about that tire wear? Do you think maybe it might come into play for them? It might. Again, pretty much everybody coming on down during that last caution here as we ride with that 13 machine. And yeah, you can kind of tell the back end wants to really slip on out from underneath her. We'll have to see how much that does wear in. Again, they have uh, at l I, I, they had quite a few uh, sets go. to give here. Is oh, oh sneaking up underneath! Oh, oh. <laughs> talk about oh, some right side romance going on between the thirteen and the one, just shoving the way right on through that bottom side. Like a bull in a china shop. Here she comes. Sarah Decker, no choice but just to move up and give her as much room as possible. Here comes a crossover attempt. Not Didn't have the momentum there, Sarah Decker did not. That's a way to make uh, friends right there. One. Sarah's trying to stay low here. Let's see what she can do. Setting up the crossover maybe for turn one. And protecting low is the 13 there at, at, on entry. 
Well, as, he, as they come on to the back stretch here, this is not over right here. No, we got it a lap is not. Car to deal with up here as well. Oh, back to your uh, question about those tires there, Adam. Coming up to 16 laps left to go. If you know, they all came in, you know, right around lap 17, and we've been green flag racing ever since. Man, that's that's basically 33 laps on a 70% fuel tank. Ooh, that might be stretching a little bit. Yeah. One yep. more pit stop, you think? Just I think I think you're off? gonna have to for fuel, regardless. Yeah. yeah. Maybe under green, these these ladies out here are running a pretty clean Ooh. race here. That would be interesting too. In the second half. So even though the. 42, Shauna Flick uh, almost going to be going a lap down here in the third. Uh, she's still got a possibility to get right back into this thing. Oh, no. Oh. 13 the outside wall there. Yeah, I think she was trying to avoid the lap car, just overshot it a little bit. And that lets the one sneak back on through and get back control here of this race. Sarah running that preferred high line right now, as we saw from... Uh, Anna Lee early in the race. Oh, back in. Oh, man. They yeah, are getting, getting loose, loose out there. Yeah. Yahtzee. <laughs> man, it's a 42. Looked like it was. she was trying to tuck into line with the one there, maybe get some draft, but the 13 coming up around the outside, making quick work of that pass. Now has to try to chase down that one machine here yet again with 14 laps left to go here in this race. As they come down closer and closer to the finish line here of our field, looks like it, the field is by no means set, but uh, some of these drivers, uh, uh, one lap down, they, they're going to be fighting for position here. Don't forget, you know, position one and two here uh, are fighting for the lead, but then you've got three trucks on uh the lap behind one lap down they're all fight for position well, there's still plenty of racing being done out there on the track even with this small field i can't wait to see how this is going to turn out this is this has been so much fun i've, I've loved doing this with you guys and Looks like we got a poll question on yep. the YouTube chat. Oh, as the 13 gets up, scrapes the outside wall, comes back down the track. Woo -hoo -hoo, as the 42 is squeezing on by. Ask the question of will we see a green white checker to finish this thing on off as the one machine continues to open up that lead now, gets a little bit of that breathing room out in front. I'm not sure if we if we'll get one or not, but Regardless, it's it's uh, looks like it's going to be an exciting finish. You know, less than six tenths of a second separating the leaders here. Yeah, I mean, not only that, but oh, here comes the 13 Merrill coming on down into pit road. Maybe get some damage fixed. Maybe splashing up on that fuel. Flash and go is probably the way to go. Oh, Merrill with a black flag on entry. Ooh. I'm not sure how. Uh, how strict we're going to be on uh, uh, penalties and stuff here tonight, being that this is a fun race. I, I did instruct director. our race director uh, leniency, but, uh, you know, no uh, no all-star pit stops here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us over there in the YouTube chat. It's been a lot of fun uh, looking at all the comments out there and all the fun <laughs> The fun jabs at Earl. That's that's probably one of the best parts of it. But uh, <laughs> Albert Anderson out there, one of a, one of the guys that really stepped up and and helped put this thing on tonight. Uh, saying, "Let's go, Merrill. Uh, keep digging." Mary Decker out there saying, "Come on, Mom. You you got this. Uh, there ain't many laps to go here." Thank y'all for all the support and we love doing stuff like this. And it's uh, it's something I think we're gonna make a regular thing and 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 and, and get the word out and uh, let people know hey you know get out there get screened do what you can to help prevent uh, prevent spread of this disease if you can this breast cancer is 
it's just, uh, like we said, it's, uh, it's a terrible scourge on, 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 on people. That it is Brittany Cotton and Rebecca Klein making their way on down pit road here as well. Sarah Decker still running out there by her uh, lonesome. As of right now, out in the lead, nine laps left to go. Will we see her have to come on down for some late pits here as well as we close out our poll and 77% people say no, it's going to be green the rest of the way. And... Uh, or at least we won't see a green-white checker finish here. And also, you know, Daniel Postlog, he's like, man, you need to just make this a league. <laughs> That'd be cool, man. That'd be cool. Be like That'd like a once-a-month kind of thing. Well, and I think a, a lot of people that are racing here tonight, a lot of these ladies, uh, this may spark some uh, yeah. legit interest in making this iRacing thing a regular thing. There's obviously some talent out there for sure. Yeah, we could do like a charity series. So you pick one every quarter or month or whatever y'all want to do. That's the one of Sarah Decker making her way on down into pit road. The 13 of Merrill did serve that uh, 40 second hold okay. penalty for speeding. So uh, Sarah Decker, I think, with a little bit of that cushion, uh, is just going to take it easy down there on pit road, make sure there's no mistakes. We got about That'd be the seven laps left to go here. Yeah, if she can make a mistake-free pit stop here, that'd be great. Oh, Brittany Cotton, spinning off of four, oh, caution is out, and that, that changes everything. That changes everything. That means Merrill's probably going to get a lap back here. Well, uh, yeah. Lap. Oh, she is. Race, yeah. race for the lead may not be over here. <laughs> oh, goodness. She will, on the restart, uh, have to start in the back if that is the case. So we take a kind of quick look here at what happened to Brittany. Having a little bit of tumble out there. Oh, and this one started... Uh, I think... The, Maybe cold tire. She recently just did come on down into those pits. So maybe those fresh tires and yeah, just getting a little bit loose and turns one and two. Oh, and heavy impacts into that outside wall. She did everything she could to try to save that thing and it just snapped around on her. I mean, you, you do whatever you can there. Yeah, Earl says that uh, Merrill's tires were at 70% wear. So they were starting to feel it and the track's starting to cool off to 93 now it looks kind of shady out there so and little little cloud cover coming on in yep there'll be something for the tires Ooh, on the 23 trying to get to pit road oh Ooh. here uh goes for a little toss and tumble there again didn't hit anything black, that time black flag though on the entry there for the 23 but this is where you learn right here Sure. How tough it is to get in and out. And I think that the more they do this, if they want to continue to be in races like this, which some of them might, some of them may say, this is terrible. But you learn. That's It's all about practicing. I think we're seeing a great show here, to be honest with you. I, I love it, dude. I, I love it. This They they came out and showed up and... Uh, we're putting it all out there and hadn't done this type of thing before, but uh, this this is what it's about. This is a community coming together just to uh, you know show some support. And yeah, it's uh, it's been it a lot of cost, fun to watch, man. I, I've been yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah, and it does cost money. This disease, it's an expensive one. Time. So it's good to give when you can. Earl Evans asking about the lucky dog there. Uh, there sh should have been. Uh, I wonder if did she get a X at all during uh, the yeah, caution uh, period? Because yeah, that would that would negate it. Track, something that would have killed the lucky dog. What does it happen here? It, it, maybe it'll happen right here. Let's see as the. Uh, I think it would have happened by now. 
Cause I, yeah, because now they're going to go too wide. No, she didn't. Uh, I oh. believe Lucky Dogs are on. Huh. Yeah, they've been on. They were on because we had one earlier. I'm not sure what happened there. And one well, it looks like uh, everybody huh. going around the the pace truck here. Oh, what's uh, happening? I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, great question. I do not know. Everybody gets, everybody's a lucky dog. Is everybody getting a wave around here? I don't. I'm confused. I am too. I'm sure Lori has it under control. She does. I, I'm i willing to chalk this one up to iRacing being iRacing because iRacing yep. does iRacing things. <laughs> Earl said, uh, we're all passing the pace car? Yeah, we're seeing it, buddy. I, I yep. think it's just a glitch. Glitch in the Matrix. Oddness. Oh. David Fight asking, too. He's like, yeah, I yeah. told Sarah to pass the pace car. I don't understand that. That's weird. Yeah, strange, uh, strange indeed. As the uh, pace truck does come on down and in, so we're going to be starting this one at full speed. Getting ready for that green flag. Three laps left to go. Can the 13 hang on and pray for another caution here to get things rolling as they go three wide? They're going down into turns one and two. Robin and racing goes to 13 in the one. Oh my goodness. 13 trying to get her lap back the hard way there as uh, she puts a, as much pinch as she could on the one machine. Now here comes that 92 of Rebecca Klein. She's trying to make up some time here. Oh no! Into the outside wall goes the 92, scrubbing off a bunch of speed. 23 of uh, Brittany Cotton coming on down onto pit road here as the one machine comes back down across the line. Two laps left remaining. The 92 was screaming. <laughs> yeah, I've we heard, heard Rebecca more was from mad. her than the regular 92 ever. I think she overloaded the microphone or something. It kept cutting out. I didn't catch what she said. But... Oh my goodness. See, so wouldn't have to. 42 in the 27. This is a race for position here. It's a 42 staying down low. 27 looking out to the outside. Here comes the 92 to the far outside lane. Snags the outside <laughs> wall there again. I think she's after somebody. <laughs> oh, it's totally possible, but it's we Climb won't them. see a caution from it as the one machine comes back down, crosses that line, white flag lap. Merrill Evans needs to uh, find the turbocharger button with some nitrous to try to make up the ground on this one as the race leader is sitting directly right behind her coming on down the backstretch. It's been a fantastic effort, but the racing between the 42 and the 27 isn't over yet here either. Both drivers trying to awful. hang on to a top four as they make their way down into turns three and four. But in the meantime, it's going to be the one machine, our inaugural Powder Puff race winner, Miss Sarah Decker, with the race win. And Shauna Flick in the 42 machine is able to hang on to pick up that fourth place finish. Uh, Rebecca Klein, how? I don't know. Oh, that's on get. SDK. Let's see. It's showing her third. Yeah, I race the show's third. Rebecca I, Klein, third place. Rebecca Klein yeah, yeah. making it up onto the podium here as well. Man, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun, guys. Maybe a situation... Well, no, there's no black flags issued, so... They're still racing out there. I don't know if they got the memo. <laughs> <laughs> Let them do it, I man. just go. <laughs> yeah. Let them I'd roll love it. to see some post-race contact here. That that might be fun. Oh, I'd love to see some of that action. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I, it's been awesome. I got to roll real quick, but I, I'm go ahead, buddy. Happy to be a part of all this, man. I, great job, Brown, putting all this together. Did a good job. Ah, uh, thank you, brother. 
I got you covered, man. Oh, well, yeah. I'll see y'all in a little bit, and uh, y'all have a good one. See ya. Adam steps away. We'll watch the 13. 13, I think, is going to celebrate with uh, maybe some oh. donuts, or at least a photo opportunity down there on the start-finish yeah, line. I, I mean, second place uh, is hard-earned. You might as well have some second-place burnout going on down there. Do some donuts, man. Uh, Paola Pereira out there in the 27 uh, doing some cool-down laps as well. See the 27 of the Wayway Motorsports. Chevrolet do some donuts as well. And Sarah Decker winning this inaugural race here. Daniel Pochlog said, oh, this, this was awesome. Uh, I agree, man. I, all the support we've gotten from uh, uh, the folks out there, uh, not just the sponsors, uh, Muehlberger Custom Homes and Albert Anderson, and, you know, just the, uh, the fact that these drivers showed up and, uh, you know, wanted to come out here and, and, and race for a good cause and, it was a blast, man. I, I mean, love this. Yes, indeed it was. As we can get some of these driver interviews started here underway, starting first in the podium, our third place finisher here tonight, the 92, your hard charger of the night, up, up four positions here, Miss Rebecca Klein. Rebecca, congratulations. How'd you enjoy running out here with uh, some of the other ladies out tonight? It was like a lavender daiquiri moment out there. <laughs> <laughs> they were just it was like bumper car flashback seriously i'm like we're whack a mole out here but you know it is what it is i lost my line trying to keep away from somebody so it's okay we live it, it, and you were one of the only uh folks out there uh, keying up on the radio and it was it was a lot of fun trying to figure out what did she say what she's mad at somebody out there i'm like but... well i was just like just what I just wanted not to be hit. That's all. But I don't think that was going to happen tonight. <laughs> it was all for a great cause. And thank you so much for being out here, Rebecca. We we, we enjoyed watching y'all race out here. And I know Greg, he, he probably put you through the paces out there. Did y'all do some practice laps? This is the fourth time I've driven. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, that's definitely good indeed. But uh, Rebecca, I got to be excited to uh, see you over there on the uh, cruise ship in Alaska. But uh, tonight, a third place finish, doing a pretty good job out there tonight. Uh, do you want to shout anybody out? or? Uh... Yeah, and shout out to Greg and Alan, my bumper car friends, and uh, we'll see you on the boat, and it was fun. There you have it, Miss Rebecca Klein there, finishing tonight in third place. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, jump on up. I think... Uh... Uh, yeah, we'll uh, jump on up here to uh, Meryl Evans. I know she's in the lobby. I don't think she just jumped on down to uh, down to the podium here as we talk with the youngest racer out here here this evening, Miss Meryl Evans, finishing with a fantastic second place finish here tonight, Meryl. I you gotta tell your dad over there that uh, we're uh, re-signing you and uh, we're we're dropping him. <laughs> They're saying you suck. Yeah. They're, saying, <laughs> they're, saying, they're, saying, they're gonna stop being my sponsors. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you did a great job out there. Um, <laughs> was this your first time in a in a race, putting some time in the rig? Yeah. Um, I've only practiced for like two days, so. Well, got to say that it looks like you might be a natural at this. You were aggressive out there, but you took care of the 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 race truck and. Uh, did a great job out there racing tonight, and we we look forward to doing this again. Uh, we want to make this at least a uh, uh, something we do maybe quarterly or at least a couple of times a year. And uh, you know, thanks for putting on a great show out there. You and Sarah, uh, y'all y'all's back and forth and uh, trying to pass each other and trying to set up uh, runs and and doing some blocking and stuff. It was a lot of fun out there to watch. Thank you so much for participate in this deal 
welcome. Now, uh, before we let you go, do you got any uh, shout outs to anybody who might be watching out there or anything like that? Oh, my dad. Oh, that's Just a, my dad. That's a good. He's that's a great. A, he is a good dude. He's a good dude, Overall. and that's a fantastic shout out. But once again, congratulations! There, a fantastic second place finish and some good hard racing out there. Congratulations, and uh, have yourself a great rest of your weekend there. Thank you. Vigilante Racing League's newest driver, Merrill Evans. Yep, coming up <laughs> in the ranks. I wonder if she could beat Kyle or Dave. I. I would. She she put on a pretty good show. I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't discount it at all. I wouldn't either. As we talk to tonight's very lucky lady, indeed, it's the one of Miss Sarah Decker coming across the line in first place. Congratulations, Sarah. Now the question is, uh, how much money are you going to start putting into iRace and getting yourself a rig? Oh, a lot. It was a lot of fun. That's so awesome. You were one of the people that was in the Discord channel saying, ah, I'm nervous about doing this and stuff, but you put down some great lap times during practice, and you, you obviously know what you're doing with a H pattern uh, uh, shifter uh, rig and everything, and it was, it, was a, it was a lot of fun watching you run out there in that number one machine. Uh, I think uh, you and David might have to uh, form a little uh, side-by-side team or something uh, here soon because uh love to see y'all both race together. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. We're going to have to try to do that. <laughs> now, uh, Sarah, when uh, you're out there on the track and you know your main battle there was with the uh, 13 of Merrill having a, having some good race. How, uh, how tight was the grip on the steering wheel? Was it a pretty good back and forth? Oh, yeah, my hands hurt now. <laughs> I was gripping that steering wheel. Well, we'll let you... Was... Oh, go for it. I think it was like that when we all first started because you kind of, you're kind of freaking out because you're mm -hmm. not used to going that fast and being that close to other cars. You know, it's not like running down the interstate. And uh, <laughs> it's just, it makes you a nervous wreck, but that's part of it. And I think the more you do it, Sarah, I think the better you're going to get. So uh, it was great watching you tonight and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you. Uh, before we do let you go here, Sarah, do you have any uh, final shout outs to anybody or anything like that? Uh, yes, David and my daughter, Mary Decker. She was making me feel all right about it. <laughs> she was there for me, but it was a lot of fun. Can't wait. Do it again. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You're a big time first ever race winner of the powder puff 100 miss sarah decker congratulations go ahead go celebrate this win all weekend long and you can now shove a win up uh right up into uh yeah up into dave. No, up into <laughs> dave's face and yep <laughs> you, you got one up on him now yes all right thank you and with that that awesome. closes out our interviews here for the evening and Oh man, that was such such good fun. I'm so happy that we did this. I, I was looking forward to it for so long, and uh, to see the the just a masterful performance out there by these ladies and uh, doing something that they're getting out of the comfort zone and and doing something fun like this uh, to raise money for a good cause. Uh, it was just great. I I can't get enough of stuff like this, and you know Daniel and a couple of other cats in the in the in the YouTube chat saying, man, y'all need to do this more often and stuff. I agree. I, I think, I think we're going to make this a regular thing and, uh, you know, see what we can do to, uh, you know, help, help different charities, but, but get all these ladies involved because, you know, these guys, they supported these guys, uh, run these racing rigs and stuff for a long time. And, uh, it's fun to get them out there and get them involved as well. And uh, I think it's just a great thing. I had a lot of fun out here calling this one. Oh, man, I absolutely did here as well. As we close things down here from Michigan, let's go ahead and tell everybody where their favorite driver ended up finishing here tonight with the one of Sarah Decker picking up your race win. The 13 of Merrill Evans having a valiant effort out there. 
finishing in second. Same thing with that 92, Rebecca Klein, your hard charger of the race, up four positions to finish there in third. 42, Shauna Flick was having a fantastic battle there at the end yeah. and found herself up there in fourth. Fifth is going to be the 27 of Paola Pereira. Close enough for you, English? Sure. Okay, Ed. Uh, if you can do it better, do it better. No, that's it, man. Oh, okay, I got it. Cool. And she had a great race here as well. Just kind of minded her own own business and got down to it with a fifth place finish. 23 of Brittany Cotton got down laps here early and tried her best to fight back through it. Uh, just couldn't quite get there finishing here tonight in six. And Emily Eaton having a little bit of a rough one out there as well. Just calling it a early night to round out your field there in seventh. And of course... Big thank you to Lori for managing all the shenanigans out there and being our race controller here this evening. As always, she is one of the best, if not the best. We uh, we thank you for jumping on out uh, for that one. Again, as always, we thank you all for tuning in and watching. We we almost had 40 people watching at one point there. And oh, so, wow. Yeah, so glad to see each and every single one of you out there, especially in the chats, blowing this thing on up. We, uh, I, You guys are the reason why we do this and have such a fantastic time of doing it as you, the fans out there, and supporting your regular drivers or even your lady drivers in one of these kind of one-off races. We sincerely thank you guys if you haven't done so already be sure to hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell so you don't miss any race in action or any announcements uh as well as like mr english has said here uh, we look forward to maybe doing this a little bit more often now that we kind of got the ball rolling here and uh should uh, hopefully get some some more people all interested in it as well and of course hit that thumbs up button so we can continue to grow this fantastic community we got going on over here at the YouTubes of course we can't sign off without saying another huge thank you to tonight's race sponsors America's driver Mr. Albert Anderson pitching in big time here thank you Albert you're the reason why you're the America's drivers because you're just a fantastic guy and a gentleman scholar and a race driver big time thank you to albert and of course big huge 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 thank you to muleberger custom homes and bruce muleberger for jumping on board literally within the first 20 minutes of us saying that we're gonna go live with a race like this and uh man just the support is absolutely amazing huge thank you once again there to bruce well, on that note, we are signing off here for this Saturday evening. We look forward to seeing you all back here for our normally scheduled programming on Monday night with some Num Thumbs Racing League Xfinity cars. Should be a fantastic night out there on Monday night. But until then, I'm Alan Brown. For Alan English and Mr. Adam Turner, we're signing off. We gone, ladies. See you.